In this video, we're going to talk about early ovulation. Is it a problem? Are you actually ovulating early? And what causes it? Hi, my name is Susan and this is The Awesomes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in this video, I'm talking about ovulating early. So as I said, I'm gonna answer, are you actually ovulating early? Is this a problem um, when we're trying to conceive? And then also, what is causing this? What could possibly be causing you to ovulate early? As always, I'm gonna dive deep into these topics and figure out what actually is going on in your body to create all of this, these things that are happening. So if that is something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so you get all of the notifications for all of my new videos. So now let's get into early ovulation. So in order to um, talk about this topic, I'm going to discuss the two or two of the main phases of your cycle. So the follicular phase and the luteal phase. There are other phases, but we're just gonna talk about these two main ones. Let's break up your cycle. The first half is going to be the follicular phase and the second half is the luteal phase. So day one of your cycle is the first day of your period. This is also the first day that you are in your follicular phase. So obviously day one is your period, so this is when your uterine lining is shedding itself. So eventually your uterine lining will have to build up again, but day one of your cycle, your uterine lining is shedding, yourself, the shedding itself, and this is you getting your period. Also, during this time, your body is producing a hormone called follicle-stimulating hormone. This hormone actually begins to be produced a couple days before your period, but definitely during the time, day one, you are producing this hormone when you have your period. So follicle-stimulating hormone, also known as FSH. So FSH does what it sounds like it does, follicle-stimulating hormone. So this hormone is stimulating the follicles that are within one of your ovaries to start maturing or start, yeah, start maturing the follicles. And each of these follicles have an egg inside of it. FSH should be at its highest point um, during the first week of your cycle. So during this first week of your cycle, FSH is encouraging dozens, possibly hundreds of follicles to begin the maturation process. But then by day seven of your cycle, you should um, only have about one or two dominant follicles left. So the rest of the follicles that we're developing will sort of die off. And this is a good thing. Um, this is basically, you know, the, the most dominant follicle has, is making it to maturity. So that's a good thing. It's a selection, natural selection. So around day seven of your cycle, this one dominant follicle that is now kind of getting bigger, more developed, is now signaling to your body to start producing estrogen. In a typical 28-day cycle, which is just an average, you don't have to have a 28-day cycle, but let's pretend that your cycle is about 28 days long. In this typical cycle, estrogen will be the dominant hormone um, from about cycle day seven to cycle day 14. And this is assuming that you ovulate on cycle day 14. So right before ovulation, for about a week before you ovulate, your estrogen levels will be at their highest point during your cycle. And estrogen does a couple of things. It does a lot of things, but it does a couple of things which are very important here. So high levels of estrogen is what gives us very fertile cervical mucus. And cervical mucus, you can check out my um, videos on cervical mucus that I have created on why fertile cervical mucus is so important. Um, but fertile cervical mucus is so important when it comes to trying to conceive. It helps to support the sperm on its journey um, into, into your uterus. So it's, if you have, if you don't have fertile cervical mucus, this can make it very difficult to conceive. Another thing that estrogen does that is really important is that estrogen is responsible for creating a new layer of the endometrium right before you ovulate. And having the endometrium is the uterine lining. So having a good quality uterine lining is incredibly important when it comes to implantation of the embryo, so of the fertilized egg. 
So uterine lining is very important because if everything else is working properly, the sperm has made it and fertilized the egg and all the cells are dividing normally and everything else looks healthy, if the egg cannot implant into a good uterine lining, then, then you're not gonna get pregnant, you won't be pregnant. So why am I talking about those things and what estrogen does for the body when we are trying to talk about early ovulation here? Well, this is, um, this is basically why ovulating early can be a problem. So basically, your body needs that time to have those high levels of estrogen. So about a week, day seven to day 14 about on average, um, it need, your body needs those high levels of estrogen for a period of time so that it can develop that fertile cervical mucus and so that it can develop this new layer of the endometrium. So what I'm saying is that if you are ovulating too early, your body may not have had enough time with its high levels of estrogen to build up the cervical mucus and to build up the endometrium. And so in that case, yes, you would be ovulating too early in order to conceive or at least to have the most ideal conditions within your body in order to conceive. So if you are ovulating before day 14, is that too early? No, not necessarily. Um, day 14 is just sort of an average, sort of a guesstimate if you have a 28 day cycle, but a lot of women have shorter cycles. Maybe you have a 21 day cycle, and if you have a 21 day cycle, then it is perfectly normal to ovulate around day seven to day 10. So ovulation occurs um, roughly 10 to 16 days before your next period. So let's say you are ovulating around day seven, that is not a lot of time for your estrogen levels to be high for, for a long enough period um, because ideally you kind of want about a week where your estrogen, estrogen levels are high so you're building up your endometrium. But this doesn't mean that it's impossible to get pregnant. When you ovulate, chances are that your egg is mature enough to be ovulated even on day seven. But the issue here is that your estrogen has not been produced long enough in order to get the fertile cervical mucus and in order to get the thick endometrium lining. But I wouldn't be too overly worried if you are ovulating on day, like say 10, 11, 12, especially if you have a really short menstrual cycle, like a 21 day cycle. But then again, every single body is different. Um, so please talk to your doctor if you are having issues with trying to conceive and you do have a very short cycle. But I wanna get into what exactly could be causing a um, early ovulation. So another way of describing early ovulation is describing it as a, as a shortened follicular phase. So what are some things that could be causing this shortened follicular phase? So researchers are still learning and studying about what could possibly be causing shortened follicular phases. Um, sometimes it just seems to happen randomly, but other times these are the things that could be affecting it. So I have a list of six things that could possibly be causing your shortened follicular phase. Number one is estrogen dominance. Estrogen dominance could be something that's possibly happening just naturally within your body, but a lot of the times estrogen dominance can come from um, outside things um, being taken into our body. So what I mean by that is basically uh, xenoestrogens in our environment. So these are fake estrogens, usually from um, things like chemicals, toxins, pesticides, uh, pollutants, anything like that can act as fake estrogens within our bodies and create this estrogen dominance situation. Number two is high stress levels. So I cannot stress enough how much stress affects, uh, affects our, our reproductive system. It affects our hor hormones basically. Stress has a huge effect on our hormones. And when it comes to trying to conceive and reproduction, it's all about hormones. So you need that hormonal balance. So besides just messing up your hormones in general, chronic high stress levels um, can also trigger luteinizing hormone to be released. Um, and luteinizing hormone is what, what triggers your egg to be released. So triggering luteinizing hormone too soon can cause ovulation to happen too early. 
Another factor, number three, could just be any medications that you are taking that are affecting your hormone levels. So if you are taking any medications, definitely discuss that with your doctor. Number four is long-term birth control use, or if you have just gotten off of birth control within the last three months or so. Number five is the aging process. And this one is actually not so much a problem. So just because you have a, uh, a fewer amount of eggs for your body to choose from, this means that your body might have a faster time um, deciding on the dominant follicle, picking up the dominant follicle. And so then in that case, your body would just ovulate that dominant follicle sooner than if it had to go through hundreds of follicles to sort of pick and choose from. So in this case, as long as your follicular phase is still about 12 days long and everything else with your cycles and everything is normal, then this is not a problem. And so number six is smoking, uh, excessive alcohol consumption, as well as excessive caffeine consumption. So all three of these things, uh, I would throw drugs in there as well. Just, you know, all these things that are harmful for our bodies. So all three of those things have been studied and linked to shortened follicular phases. So as with most um, ovulation issues, a lot of these things are linked to stress levels, hormonal balance, um, lifestyle factors, overall health. So in a way, if you um, maintain a healthy lifestyle, get enough sleep, uh, not too stressed out, you know, healthy weight, things like that, just the overall health of your body um, and get your hormonal balance back on track, then your ovulation, whether it is, you know, seems to be too early or too late, it should work itself out over a period of time. Um, but definitely if you are finding that you have, that you're having trouble conceiving and your ovulation seems to be, let's say before day 12 of your cycle, um, all the time, then definitely talk to your doctor about this and um, have them do some tests and discuss your options when it comes to um, improving your fertility and finally getting pregnant. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am creating another video on having a longer follicular phase, so late ovulation and what that is all about, as well as a video um, that where I'll go into depth on what you can do to balance out your hormones and make sure that you are ovulating during sort of the ideal window. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all again very shortly. As I said, please subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you soon. Bye.